know this looks bad, but if you'll just let me blow up that wall, I can finally prove to my wife that I was right about something. Sir, you need to drop the bomb right now. Guys, chill. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> These damn treasure hunters are packing dynamite now? Uh, the deceased is a special case, sir. Why are you yelling? Sorry, uh, uh, my ears, the explosion was loud. Uh, the deceased had access to demolitions because of his job at a quarry in Oregon. They're coming all the way from Oregon? That's it. We need to lock down this location, cut off access to any more gold seekers. Now, how close are you guys to figuring out the poem? We're at a bit of an impasse, sir. The second stanza states that the next clue is only visible in early morning light. The longer this goes on, the more dangerous it becomes. Look, I need the gold found. I need y'all to stand back, okay? Stay back. Looking for this? <gasps> That's mine. Give it. Who is she? She's um. Her name is Katrin Arnoux. Mm, no. But I think you know that. What happened 10 years ago, Alice? I don't know who you're talking about. You do. And I think some part of you is relieved it's finally out. I never meant to hurt anybody. I'm sorry, but you're under arrest. So, so pathetic. As far as we can tell, her life fell apart after she hit you. It's almost impossible for a transient to hang on to anything. Belongings are stolen, confiscated by the city. But she held on to your picture for 10 years in conditions worse than prison. She never let herself forget. What are you saying? She suffered enough? Back in the day, she was arrested. She would have gotten three years in prison, maybe five. Instead, she's been punishing herself for the last decade. She ran, but didn't escape. I'll never run again, Officer Lopez. Yes, ma'am, I apologize. I wasn't trying to excuse what she did to you. Only... Only what? She destroyed a part of me. And you had the nerve to plead her case? She was out of line. No, she's right. I overstepped. Good morning, and happy Mother's Day. Now, I hate to interrupt your little manufactured family gathering, but this is a robbery. Everyone stay Let's calm and you won't get hurt. Just put all your belongings in the bag. What are you gonna do? Stay calm, do as they say. We don't want to make the situation worse. Come on, cough it up, ladies. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thank you. Give me the pearls. Please. My late husband gave me. I don't me. care. Put it in the bag before I rip it off your neck. Patrice, we'll get it back, okay? You know, you really shouldn't lie to your elders. I'm not lying when I tell her that. But when I tell you, you're under arrest. <laughs> you know, I love the confidence. But, uh, we're the only ones with guns here. Oh, I don't mean now. But soon enough, I'll be putting a different kind of bracelet on you. <laughs> Jonah Cahill and Monica Detmar. That's our valet. He beat up a guest this morning and stole a Porsche. Oh, and that's the woman that Nolan and Gray put out a bolo for. She pitched a fit at one of the stars on Hot Suspect and then quit. Which suggests the robbery was a spur of the moment thing. Yeah, they might have snapped after a bad morning at work and decided that crime paid better. I'm assuming they have criminal records? Yeah. Minor offenses stretching back into their teens. They're both living at a halfway house in Koreatown. I got uniforms parked outside in case they come back. Well, I don't take bribes. Are you sure you really want to play it like that? We're going to war. John, are you there? Bailey, we're cut off. Get down! He's a feisty one. Come on. You know, you should probably just let me go. If you do it now, I can probably talk him into letting you live. Forgive me if I don't trust you. Hey! You shoot at us again, you kill your boss! You think that's gonna stop us? We'll just come in and get him. And we'll make it hurt. You come in here, you won't walk back out. All they have are handguns and limited ammo. Okay, come on, come on, enough talking. All right, stick him in the kitchen, hold him in there. You plant yourself right next to him, it's a safe spot for you and Elroy. I'll cover left, you cover right. Elroy? You're a spotter. You call out trouble when you see it. Sounds like a, a lot of pressure. Right!
Do you think I'm a monster, Deputy Serial? Do you think you're a monster? I'm Beth Veston, attorney for Rosalind Dyer. Step back. It's already been searched. She's just doing her job. Did I do it? Is she dead? You did great. Get her case. This is taking too long. It's Rosalind. She's trying to escape. Hey. Nolan, what's going on? Stop that damn Give me your hand. Neighbor, what do you want? We just moved in across the street. My, my wife and I are having a baby, a home birth. She just started having contractions. Uh, no. Okay, Tyler, I know you don't want to stress the baby. I, I, I'm sure they'll turn it off at some point. Move. Turn the music down. Now. Yo, turn it down. Thank you so much. I said the neighbors are get... I'm going over here. Mm -mm. No, 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 you're not. Just calling a noise complaint. Uh, fireworks? No, that was gunshots. Officer Nyla Harper, shots fired near 5575 Orange Grove. Your neighbor said they were watching Dirty Harry. That's got to be what you heard. Smitty, I'm telling you, I heard live gunshots. We did a thorough search of the house. There was no sign of foul play. Someone's in the house. Not necessarily. Get my gun. Okay, Nyla, you are fully dilated. This baby is coming any minute now. It's the murderers from across the street. Get my damn gun. Drop the gun. I am in here giving life, but I will take yours if you even twitch. Seven out of 200 shots fired. Officer needs help, my lord. <laughs> it's a girl. The IDs are finishing up downstairs. You still gotta talk to the shooting team, but they can wait a few days. You're on maternity leave. Yes, uh, no more investigations. Yeah, you promise? Look, if an escape convict comes into my mommy and me class, then I don't have no choice. But barring that, I will spend the next six weeks just staring at this little angel. Nolan, I found her. East side of the house, at the window. Stand back. Check her. She's alive. All right, stay with her. I'm gonna clear the house. It was a 6577 Beechwood Canyon abandoned house. Found a female kidnapped victim, possibly Jill Baskin, multiple stab wounds. Hey! No one, I see him! Stop! What do you got? Officer Juarez? Police! <laughs> Officer Juarez, respond. Seven, I don't know. His squad is. I had eyes on the suspect. I'm in pursuit. Selena, I'm coming to you. Where are you? I don't know. I don't know where he went. <laughs> Selena? <laughs> I'm in trouble. Bailey, where are you? What happened? I fell into some kind of trap. I think it's Rosalind. Bailey! Hold on! Hold on! We're gonna try and get this grate open! 
Go! No, no, no! Wait! What is it? I don't know. Something's happening. Spikes! There's spikes coming out of the ground! Stop, 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 got it, stop, got it! You okay? Yeah, I'm great. I'm just great. You think Roslyn saw us cutting? No, I think more than likely there's a motion sensor probably under the floor. Well, we can't get at it. No, we can. We can. We just have to take the floor apart. More carefully. Right. All right, guys. DWP is here. They're cutting the power. No, we could trigger something else. Guys, something else is happening. What is it? John? Can you block it? Water's filling up the tank. I can't stop it. How long until the tank fills up? Uh, at this rate, a few hours, Max. Yeah. Hello, John. Alert anyone that I'm on the phone and Bailey dies. What? It's great. <sighs> Bailey, I'll be right back. Really? Uh, guys? One of the boxes is opening. <gasps> Okay, okay, stop, stop! Potassium amide, a chemical that hates water. Get out of the car! A few flakes is the fun party trick, but there's enough in there to blow the whole tank. I'm sorry, I won't do it again, I promise. Let's go! Get rid of that guy, but you do anything to alert him and I will cook her to... I don't want to be a tough guy, huh? You want to throw down? Let's go. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Nothing. You okay, Bailey? Yeah, this isn't the first time I've singed my eyebrows. They grow back. What's the longest anyone's ever held their breath? Yeah, let's check. Uh, let's see. 24 minutes and 37 seconds. But he cheated. I mean, he took in pure oxygen before getting in the water. Let's do a test. See how long I can hold my breath for, okay? Hello, John. A little on the nose even for you, Rosalind. If you didn't your last meal before you killed me. Oh, you misunderstood. Are the owners dead somewhere? No, it's a rental. I knew I was going to be here a while and bodies start to smell fairly quickly. I held up my end of the bargain. I'm here, now let her go. Don't test me. I will kill you if I have to. And sit down to watch Bailey die while I eat filet. I don't want to do that, but I'm in control. What's really going on here, Rosalind? You don't want me to murder you. You're way too narcissistic for suicide. It's not suicide. It's legacy. I don't fully understand it myself, but I find you fascinating. And how does killing you save Bailey? I couldn't stop her death even if I wanted to. Only Jeffrey can. He's watching us right now. Once he sees you murder me in cold blood, then he will unlock the trap and release Bailey. And you expect me to believe that he's a serial killer of his word? He is, actually. He was very excited when I pitched him the idea. I love the artistry of it. And between you and me, I think he wants my crown. So once the chemicals fall, I won't be able to surface. I know. Okay, here we go. Cut the power now. She's dying, John. Kill me. Bailey, get in there. We're through. Yes, this is Officer John Nolan. I have Rosalind Dyer in custody. Need units at my address, 101 Briarwood. Hey, John! Really? Does 
doesn't seem real. It is. She's done. She only seemed larger than life. Do you think she did this as a backup? On purpose? Doesn't matter. All it means is that we can focus on catching her accomplice before he kills anyone else. Weapon, it's a golf club. Now. I, look, officer, this is a misunderstanding. Who called you? That doesn't matter. It was the busybody across the street, wasn't it? I bet she's posting on next door. Yeah, 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 of course she is. You know, what else has she got in her sad little life? She needs to put down the phone and take in her garbage bins. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can, actually, can you guys do something about that? Huh? She just leaves them out there for days. I... Not our jurisdiction. Where do you want to go for brunch? In bed. Mm, I don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> okay. You either want to make a report about the damage to your cars? At this point, we have the body shop on speed dial. What's that around your neck? He made me put it on. He said to drive or he'd kill me. Is yeah, that a bomb? I have to go. I'm sorry. I don't want to die. I have to go. Ma'am. No. Ma'am. No. You made the right call. We have to assume it's a real explosive. Why don't you pull up next to that car? Try and stay parallel. The bomb car? Yeah. Okay. Hello, sir. All right. Uh, it's a hinged collar uh, secured around her neck, kind of like handcuffs. Pin, post lock, dual post, shock style mechanism. Did you get it? That was some slick driving. Thanks. Hi, it's Pam, right? My name is John. We have the bomb squad on the way to help you out. You are gonna be okay. Right now, I need you to follow us. Can you do that? I need to call my mom. I need to tell her that I love her. <laughs> we can do that, but right now, I need you to follow us. We can meet up with the bomb squad, okay? He told me to keep driving. He said that I would die if I didn't. Pam, that's a lie. Bomb squad says there's no GPS on your caller, all right? He can't tell if you're stopped or not. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, Pam, I am sure. Now, we're going to pull out in front of you, and you're going to follow us, OK? OK. You got it. I'm going to take you to a safe spot. All right, Pam, just checking in. How are you doing? Um, not great. Please get this thing off of me. Pam, earlier you said you wanted me to call your mother. Is there anyone else you want me to get a hold of? No. Not really. Is that pathetic? Not at all. It's nothing like a traumatic event to make you realize that you, that your life is empty. Come on, Pam, I don't believe that. I can't, I can't. We started beeping. Do you hear that? Why is it beeping? It's beeping. Why is it beeping? Uh, don't worry about that, Pam. Just open the door. What'd the bomb squad say? They confirm what we already suspected. The device appears to be homemade. Using eyes, you can find it at any hardware store. Do they know what triggered the explosion? Uh, most likely the device was on a timer, but they need to put the bomb back together to be sure. Hold on, I just got video footage from Pam's house. I can't see his face. All right, the garage camera's triggered seven minutes later. Is there any other angle? No, that's it. Wait, 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 go back real quick. Yeah, I feel like she recognizes him. Yeah, she doesn't seem scared. Whoever he is, she wasn't expecting trouble. Control 7 out of 100, there is a second bomb. Hey, reach out. Ah. Reach out, reach out. OK. Can you get closer? Come here. Hi, <laughs> I'm Lucy. Hi, he, he told me to keep driving. I don't want to die. Sir, we're here to help you. What's your name? Creighton, Creighton Mitchell. OK, Creighton, we're going to try and get you to drive somewhere safe. Do you think you can do that? I can't breathe. I feel like I'm dying. I think I'm dying. Creighton, you're probably having a panic attack right now. I just need you to try and stay calm. Maybe turn on the radio for some music. A woman is dead today. 
Saturday after an unknown assailant apparently strapped an explosive device to her neck. Oh my God, this happened to somebody else? And she's dead? Creighton, listen to me, that is not gonna be you, okay? You can bet your ass this isn't gonna be me. Creighton! Creighton, stop! You can detonate the device. I'm not just gonna wait for this thing to blow my head off. Get Inside everyone back the house, up! There's a bomb! Back up! Clear it out! Clear off the sidewalk! Let's go! I'm alive! Yeah, so the bomb was on a timer. You had three minutes left. It's a good thing he bailed when he did. We would have never made it on time. How long did he have total? Couldn't tell from the device, but as long as he was driving, plus three minutes. I was going to work. I, I heard a knock at the door, and when I answered it, Richard was standing there with a collar and a gun. Richard? Dormer, Richard Dormer. I, I used to work with his sister at Sunvale. Uh, Sunvale Oil? Did you know Pam Winfield? Yeah, why? The woman they were talking about on the radio this morning, uh, that was Pam. What? Yeah, I'm sorry. Were you close? I, I mean, I, I worked with her. What, what is this? What's going on? That's what we're trying to figure out here. What did Richard say to you? He told me if I didn't put the collar on, he'd kill me. And he didn't give you any reason? I mean, it was all so fast. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Do you alert. Watch his hands. Richard Dormer, keep your hands where I can see them. Is this all for me? Turn around, get on the ground. I'm unarmed. I know how this ends. I don't mind going to prison. We need the bomb squad to do a search before we process the house. You don't have to be afraid. The explosives are gone. The third bomb's already out there. Apparently, there were three people who signed off on negotiating rather than paying the ransom. Pam Creighton and Henry Parsons, the company CEO. Do we have a phone number? Yes, but he is not answering. Lopez is getting authorization to track it as we speak. All right, well, based on Creighton's GPS, he had 43 minutes from the time the bomb was activated until it was detonated. Why 43 minutes? You're the detective. You know you killed an innocent woman today. There was nothing innocent about Pam Winfield. She got what she deserved. She experienced exactly what she forced my sister to experience. 43 minutes of terror and then darkness. What do you mean? Where she was abducted, where they held her, and where she died. It took 43 minutes to drive her out to the desert to be executed. Kidnappers killed your sister. It wasn't Pam's fault, or Crichton's fault, or Henry's. She trusted them. She believed their promises that if anything happened, they would have her back. Nolan, what do we got? The third victim isn't just randomly driving around. He's on his way to Sunvale Oil Offices. The third bomb's gonna take out the whole company. Help me. Please help me. That's why I'm here. That's why. I'm here. What's this? He, he told me to stream an apology. Folks, come on. We're gonna move outside. No, he told me not to let them go. He uh, said he'd kill me if they left. Relax, okay? No, I, you've been told a lie, okay, folks? The bomber is right now outside in my car. I can guarantee he does not have a remote trigger with him. This bomb is on a timer. Everyone out! Come on, ladies, move, move. move. What about me? You and I were gonna focus on this bomb, okay? Let's take a look here and see what we've got, all right? Stay nice and calm for me. Tell me how to disarm the bomb. No. My T.O. is up there, and he's not gonna leave someone who is scared and alone. If that bomb goes off, you're killing him too. Yeah, well, he's making a choice to stay. And you're making a choice to kill people. There have to be consequences. My sister is dead. They need to pay. I want my apology. I want him to admit what he did for the whole world to hear. Richard says he'll tell us how to disarm the bomb if Parson just admits what he did. I didn't do anything. I was negotiating. Hey, your semantics are gonna get us both killed. We let her die. It was my fault. I made the call. Susan Dormer is dead because of me. There's two wires in the back, a red and a green one. Cut the green wire. Wait, 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 wait! He's lying. What? He doesn't want an apology. He wants Parsons dead. Cut the red one. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Nice and easy. 
You know him? He is a serial bank robber. I am Detective Nyla Harper. Your bank is about to be robbed. I need you to hit the silent alarm now. Everybody down! Everybody stays calm. Everybody lives. On the floor now! Cell phones on the ground! Right, no one moves, no one gets hurt. Hurry up! Back away from the window! Get down! Fill it. No die packs, you're dead. Get up! Safe deposit room now. Come on, let's go. Silent alarm now. Why aren't you doing anything? Right now, they are just going for property. What are you doing? No, put that away! Citizen's arrest, drop your gun! Give me your belt. Hurry! Everybody, out the door! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Right now, come on! Let's go! Come on! Out the door! Come on, Lola! Lola, let's go! Outside! The suspect's headed north on foot. We need backup and air support. Seven out of 100 shots fired. In this two, 600 block of Kenmore. Hey, we need to end this before someone gets caught in the crossfire. I'm down. What's the plan? All right. You stay low. I'm going to distract him, then you shoot him. That's a terrible plan. Trust me. He's got a hostage. Rear view mirror. Tilt it down. Stop. Now side view. Stop. I say back off! I will kill her, I swear to God! Yeah, we don't have to do that, okay? Let's just take a big breath. Screw that, clear the street and let us go. Now! I can't do that, you know it. Uh, what should I do? Have dispatch RMS the address. Let's get a background on everyone who lives here. See if we can get a cell phone for the woman who's got a hostage. It's the police. Answer it. On speaker. H Hello? Hi, Vanessa. This is Sergeant Bradford. You can call me Tim. Try to stay calm. We're going to get you out of there, OK? I'm, I'm scared. I know. Enough! I'm not negotiating, Bradford. Back everybody away from the house and let us leave. And then I'll drop her off around the block. You know I can't let you leave. Then I hope you brought some body bags. <laughs> All right. All right, listen, just give me 10 minutes. I've got to get these cars out of the street. It's a parking lot out here. You got two minutes! Hang up! Hang up! You're not really gonna let him drive away, are you? No. I got a plan. He's supposed to show you what he can do when he's stuck in the outfield! What's the problem? <laughs> oh, this, this idiot wants to put my kid on the outfield! He's a pitcher! No, he's not. Blake is the only one with any actual pitching skill. Uh, I don't have to pitch, Coach. Really. I like the bench. See? Bench him! You want to know why your son's in the outfield, Celeste? Because he's terrible! He is the worst player I've ever coached. Okay, ma'am. Now you're going to jail. What? No, I don't. But I... He's a pitcher. So are you okay? No. I quit. Does this mean practice is canceled? He's our third coach. Might mean the season's canceled. Well, hang on, what about... What about Tim? What about Tim? Nothing. No, it's a great idea. You love baseball and you want to be more involved in Tyler's life. Please, Uncle Tim. We'll have the best time. I promise. More Stone Cold Killer. <laughs>
Good morning. Oh, hello, officers. How can I help you? Bailey Noon is my fiance and also your landlord. She mentioned you might be a little behind on rent. Six months late, in fact. Malcolm, can you come here? He's here about the rent. Oh, I'm so sorry, officer. We've been struggling a little recently. But, but we have the money. It's just tied up. But it shouldn't be much longer. I understand. I get it. I've been where you are. But Bailey has given you lots of time to resolve this. I agree completely. I will hand deliver the rent on Wednesday. But I will have to take a couple hundred off. We've had a few maintenance issues. Oh, did you bring those up with Bailey? Oh, no, no, we, we didn't want to trouble her. I am also a contractor. If anything else comes up, you just shoot them over to me, and I'll be here Wednesday for the back rent. Absolutely. Thank you. You bet. Thank you. Hello? Where the hell did you go? Kira, are you okay? He's really mad. He says that it's my fault that he can't see his kids. Yeah, okay, what I'm gonna need you to do right now, Kira, is get into a public place, okay? Who the hell are you talking to? Nobody. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kira? Patrol have a possible 2735 at 9213 Longview Avenue. Send additional units. LAPD, I'm coming in! Hey! Get off her hands where I can see them. Back up. Put your hands behind your back. Kira, put the gun down. He's not a bad guy. He just gets mad sometimes. He was about to kill you. No, I overreacted. I shouldn't have called. No, you made the right decision. You are in danger here. They took his kids. He is the reason he lost them. No, his wife. He... No, 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 no. <laughs> I know what he said to you, Kira, and that's a lie. You don't understand. None of that matters. What matters right now is the choice that you are making, okay? If you shoot me, you're not gonna save him, but you will go away to prison forever, okay? Just put the gun down. Turn around. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Hey, give me your hands. What did you do? What did I do? I was just sitting here. You seriously don't remember me. I did 10 years because of you. Well, you're gonna have to be more specific. I've thrown a lot of guys under the butt. Rod Carmichael, you haven't aged a day. Damn! Get him out of here. Come on, move! Uncuff me from this bed, Nolan. I want to get off. Shut up. We need to get this guy off the board before he warns his friends. Oh, well, what I'm asking for is your gut instinct. Is it fatal? No. Now get out of my way. Hands up. That's right. So what's your protocol? Your guy's waiting for you to call them? Go screw yourself. The only way her family lives is if Oscar dies. What did I ever do to you? Trade my brother to the Southern Front. Got him shanked to death in prison. I'm sorry, I'm gonna need a little more specificity, like maybe a name or a year. Okay, that doesn't matter right now, and you are the worst person in the world. Get his phone. Looks like he's been calling every half an hour. Last phone call was 20 minutes ago. All units, possible hostage situation at the home of Dr. Charlene Bernard. The address is? 19531 Mission Mile Road. 7 Adam 100, we're half a mile from there. Code 3 silent to possible 207. Hurry, they're waiting on a phone call in nine minutes. They're gonna know something's wrong. Seven out of 100, 207 suspects in custody, code four. Seven out of 100, copy. Nice job. That means you are officially under arrest and you have a surgery to get to, if 
You're still up for it. Are you kidding? I'll do what I have to to get this psychopath out of my hospital. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I have been severely traumatized by this. I'm going to need at least a couple of days before I am emotionally ready for any kind of medical procedure. No problem. While you recover, we'll just call everyone you've ever wronged and tell them where to find you. You wouldn't do that. She wouldn't do that. If she doesn't, I will. Fine surgery it is. Oh, okay, that's not good. The right spot. Tell me why. Something's wrong. There's a crime happening right now, so Lawrence. Each one of those saws is about 900 bucks. I mean, that's almost nine grand in tools. In a blackout, debit cards don't work, and who walks around with nine grand cash? So that Selena is absolutely perfect. Hey, guys. Quick question. Great tools there. Did you pay cash or card? Hey! 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 hey. Turn around. Turn around. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Sir, so there's one thing I haven't told you. You know how I spent the day doing administrative work? What about it? Well, my mom sort of thinks that's what I do all day. Every day. She doesn't know I go on patrol. So you want me to lie for you? Well, not lie, exactly. Just focus on the small portion of the truth and then exaggerate it. No. Selena? Mama, I've been calling you. You didn't pick up. My phone died. No power to charge it. This is my boss, Sergeant Bradford, and this is my mom, Carla Juarez. Oh, pásale. Okay, mommy, I'm always oh, nice. Always be my baby. God, it must be 100 degrees in here. Yeah. Reminds me of a sauna. It's good for your skin. Yeah, in 10-minute increments, not all day. You have birds? Lorca y Neruda. They're my muses. I sell paintings of them online. It's how I pay my bills. Hey, Mama, you can't stay here. You gotta come with us to a cooling center. What about the birds? You can bring them. I can't. It's been years since she's left the house. It's dangerous out there. I worry so. And I told you you have nothing to worry about. I'm safe at the station. That's right. Taking calls, gathering information. Well, thank you for keeping my baby safe. Of course, ma'am. Listen, I've got an Apex generator in the back of the shop. Let me bring it in here and get the AC up. No, no, no. I, I don't want to be a bother. Well, it's not for you. It's for Lorca and Naruda. I'm sure they could use a little cooling off. Okay. For the birds. Is he single? Okay. According to Gray, they should be back on about now. Oh. You guys are already on it. You guys from this precinct? I'm new here, so maybe we haven't met yet. I am. Bobby here is usually with the uh, 57th. Oh. Mm, cool. Well, nice to meet you. Yeah. LAPD doesn't have precincts. I mean, there's such thing as the 57th. Impersonating an officer and stealing police property are both felonies. I'm sure they didn't teach you that in your imaginary police academy. We weren't trying to steal a generator. Then what were you doing? The generator, then what? Our friend got pinched this morning. We thought, you know, knock out the power, get her out. You do realize locks work without electricity, right? Where this ain't maximum security? We like to keep things simple. Like our criminals, we find low tech gets the job done. Hello, counselor. No pressure. But if you can't convince me why I should let you live, I'm gonna feed you into the wood chipper. This is so short-sighted. How so? I have been nothing but loyal to you. I'm the reason you're free in the first place. The FBI raided my office. They have documents related to my business because of you. Your legitimate business. There was nothing incriminating. You're talking to me like I don't know what the hell I'm doing, and I'm trying really hard to not be insulted. I mean, how do I know if I can ever trust you again? Because when I was in that cell, I didn't fold and call my friendly prosecutor to get a deal like I could have. No, I dug in and got right to work on the case, on the facts. And I got their evidence thrown out because that's my weapon, the law. I mean, there are plenty of morally flexible lawyers in this town. None of them are half the lawyer I am. And I can guarantee you, none of them hate the LAPD and the DA as much as I do right now. Use me to get inside their investigation into you. What's the first step? You're gonna need to hit me. Are you okay? What happened? You were right. 
I'm in over my head. Elijah just made me beg for my life, and I'm gonna make him pay for it. Did you find her? No, ma'am. We, we have, have to, to find her. She's sick. She's scared. We know. That's why we're here. We just need a few details. What details? My daughter is missing. I said that on the phone. Okay. Maybe you can let us inside. We can help She's you look. She's not inside. I looked. She was playing outside. I, I heard a scream, and she was gone. You heard her scream? Yes. 7 out of 15. I need additional units on my location. Notify search and rescue. What's he doing? Is he calling someone? He's calling everyone. In 10 minutes, there will be dozens of police officers and volunteers looking for your daughter. Olivia. Her name's Olivia. That's a really pretty name. How about I help you find a photo of her? Yeah. What was that? I checked. Olivia's mother has a history of drug abuse. Just like my mom. I mean, just like the other victims. Officers. Can we come in? We both know I can't stop you. Mm -hmm. Where were you between 10 and 11 this morning? Why? What happened? Sir, just answer the question. I was here. Alone? Yeah. Move aside. Oh. That's a gift. Really? For who? One of my nieces. You don't have any nieces. I like dolls. That's not a crime. Per the terms of your probation, you're not allowed to own children's toys. This is harassment. I think you two should leave. Sit down. Now, do not move, do not touch anything, or you will be in violation of your probation. Seven, Adam, seven. We need additional units to 7858 West Cedar. What is it? We found something at Drew's house. It's Olivia's teddy bear. Drew's our guy, he took her. Can you ID this item? Oh, it's a teddy bear. Was it hers, Is that Olivia kid you were asking about? Yes. Oh, she must be young, eight years old. Younger? Have you ever seen this item before? No. Then how do you explain its presence in your backyard? What? How did Olivia's favorite toy come into your possession? It didn't. I don't know. You're lying. I'm not lying. We found it in your backyard. No! Look, I know what I am. I know what I've done. But I swear, I've never laid eyes on that kid. He can see us. What about Olivia? No sign of her. Y'all, we're just gonna throw a phone on the other side of the door, all right? All we wanna do is talk. Settle this before anyone gets hurt. She's out cold, probably drugged. What was that? He shot the camera. I just want to be a father again. Why don't they understand? They just keep crying and begging to go back home. I gave them a better life than they ever had and they want to go back to some loser drug addict? Tell him what he wants to hear. Joel, it's over. You need to know that. End it by doing what you wanted to do. End it by protecting her. Selena, hey. Breach! Drop the gun. Drop the gun! How you doing, sir? Uh, good afternoon, officer. License and registration, please. So we received a call saying that you swerved over the double yellow line. Have you been drinking today, sir? Absolutely not. Okay, great. Can you step out of the car, please? <clears throat> Front of the car. I'm gonna give you a little field sobriety test. Oh, that's not necessary. Stand on your left foot, please. Yep. Ah, ah, ah. Eyes on me, sir. 
Can you recite the alphabet backwards, only saying every other letter? Let's see. Um, okay. uh, Z. Uh-huh. X. Wow, this is exciting. Shh, uh, T. R. P. Yeah. V. Yeah. T. Leg up. Leg up. Oh, higher. Yep. yep. P. Uh, All right. P. Thank you. Yeah. Does that mean I can go? Uh, yeah. Uh, Drive safe out there. Okay. Wow, that was thrilling. I felt like Thomas Cruise in Missions Impossible. Do you have any idea how stupid that was? No. We already looked into this guy. He had nothing to do with the murder. Okay, I know you want to help, but involving yourself with this case will only give the prosecution more ammunition against you at trial. Oh, wait, does this mean I have to go home again? Oh, absolutely not. No, obviously you cannot be trusted to stay out of trouble, so you are coming with us. Woohoo! Reunited partners! Uh, when am I issued a service weapon? There he is. Well, I wouldn't have pegged him for a pickleball guy, but all right. You ready to do this? Ready. Ready to think he'll take the bait? Hey, Cooper, ready for Randy to hand you your hinting again? Yeah! What's up, man? I'm gonna treat you like sea biscuit, right? Oh, well, there's your answer. Hey, drop the German! Put the German down! Guys, that was so much fun. Not by my definition, but you do you. No, actually, you're, yeah, mm. stop, do, stop doing you. And stop accepting jobs that break the law or put you in danger, please, for all of our sakes. I will. As soon as I help this mysterious and glamorous widow discover who dumped her husband's body in the reservoir. <laughs> wow, I joshed you good. That's the plot to Chinatown, a classic film. Want to come over tonight and watch it? No. I have plans. Okay, rain check it is. <laughs> Get better soon. I will do. Bye. What the hell is going on? Who are you talking to? What the hell is going on? Who the hell are you with this, this hallway wedge post crap? We're cops. The reason my dad was sent to prison, you lied to me! Sarah, please, I can explain, oh but right God. now we need to focus hey. on getting... Got you. You're safe now. I know you're going through a lot right now, but it is vital that you don't tell anyone I was a cop. It would endanger not only me, but everyone who helped me, whether they knew who I was or not. Meaning, I'd put myself in danger too. Tell me the truth. Was I just a way for you to get to my dad? At first, it may be, but you needed someone. Your dad barely remembered to feed you. And I saw how alone you were at a moment where I felt alone myself. So I looked out for you and took care of myself in the process. I have something difficult to tell you. Your uncle's dead. Good. He tried to kill me. Police are pretty sure that your dad ordered it. And he's getting out of prison tomorrow? Yeah. You gonna be there when he walks out? No. I got money hidden away. I'm gonna disappear for a while. I need to figure out what the hell I want my life to be and whether my dad will be part of it. You ever need me? You know the number. Thanks for coming when I called. Anytime. What was what? You go right over there. Hey. Aaron! Guys! Put your gun down. We are police officers. We do not want to do this. Selena, look out! Over here. Selena! What happened? It's bad. Hey, I heard it was Thorson. GSW to the back. 
Selena says they were ambushed. Three men with masks. I'll coordinate with the canvassing officers. Run everyone in the five mile radius who's on parole, probation for assault and the cop. Yes, sir. All right, listen up. All time off has been canceled. These suspects is the department's top priority. All right, this is what we know so far. At approximately 4 a.m., Officer Thorson and Warnes were attacked. Officer Thorson was shot and is currently in surgery. A blood drive has been set up at the hospital. If you can donate, please do at end of shift. Officer Juarez sustained a concussion, but has been providing Nolan and I with the details of the assault, including sketches of the masks the assailants wore. Those are not store-bought Halloween masks. No, they are not. So our first job is to try and identify the manufacturer and then hopefully track them back to our assailants. I'd like to help with that. Sold. We're currently pulling cell tower records for that area. There shouldn't be a lot of activity at that hour in the morning. Intel is also coming through social media to see if anyone has posted video of the attack or the aftermath. Yeah, and I've also compiled a list of everybody that's done time for assaulting a police officer, but so far nobody's jumping out. Yeah, most of those guys were drunk and sucker punched a cop. It, it's something else. A lot of this still doesn't make sense. So we need a list of top priority questions to answer. I mean, it seems obvious that they were targeted. Why else the masks and the riddle? So was this specifically about Aaron and Selena? Yeah, and why not just kill Aaron? Look, from the description that Selena gave of the shooting, they easily could have just shot him in the head. All I am asking is if there was a reason they did not. Fair enough, what else? Well, Thorson is not just a cop, he's a public figure. So is it related to his family? Right. Or were they sent by Elijah? Even behind bars, he still has power. You think he'd target Angela first, but you're right. We should look into it. Anything else? Are they done? Hey, can we come in? Of course. Um, any uh, updates on the case? Well, we have a long list of people that didn't do it. I mean, that's progress, I guess. Can I, um, can I ask you something? Of course, yeah. I'm gonna go see if there's any updates on Aaron. Thanks. It's on your mind. I should have called it in. The second we heard something, I, I shouldn't have left this side. Look, if there's something you can learn from this, a lesson you take, great. But this doesn't sound like a rational assessment. This sounds like blaming yourself. I am? How can I not? You were ambushed, and you were outnumbered, and despite a nasty knock to the head, you managed to call for help and administer first aid before EMTs could arrive. Selena, because of you, Aaron has a chance. So no more blaming yourself. And if you ask me very nicely, I could help you with these subs. Get your arm. Worth a shot. Great news, Aaron's out of surgery. Remember when we entered the caverns of depravity and faced off against Glabrazoo? Valdery kept calling it the Labradoodle. And before it even knew what was happening, you thunderwaved that Labradoodle into lava flow. That's what we need now, Aaron, okay? I need you to roll a natural 20 and destroy that Labradoodle. Like, I guess in this analogy the labradoodle is is death but you you know what i mean come on aaron